So now that Samsung has finally released their latest update that supposedly fixed the camera issues with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, I figured this is the best time to conduct my camera test. For this test, I'll be testing both the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the S24 Ultra specifically in dark, gloomy daytime weather and the nighttime setting. I will test each camera lens in both video and photography with a simple point and shoot method. With that being said, let's start with the wide main angle lens. Here, in these next two shots, the iPhone holds better dynamic range as well as the accurate coloring as it pertains to the gloomy dark weather that I'm seeing in person. As for the S24 Ultra, it definitely shows more saturation with a slight loss in detail, however, definitely still brighter which many will prefer over the iPhone's typical raw realistic coloring. As for the night 4K video with the main wide-angle lens, the iPhone again has much better HDR, captured detail, and stability. However, the lens flare is slightly more aggressive here on the iPhone. But again, the iPhone definitely wins here in my opinion. Moving on to the main wide-angle photos, I'll be blunt. For portrait shots, the iPhone still performs much better with capturing accurate skin tones and details with darker skin tones. Edge detection is also better here with the iPhone, but many will probably still choose the S24 Ultra here due to the portraits being much brighter and saturated. However, not my preference as I do prefer the more accurate colored portraits. As for landscape photography with the main wide-angle lens, again, the iPhone definitely has better dynamic range and accurate coloring considering that the daytime shots were done in dark gloomy weather. However, I must admit, I still prefer the S24 Ultra here as the saturated daytime landscape photography is very appealing. But for nighttime, the iPhone is the clear winner here. Moving on to the telephoto video, both are actually very similar. However, the iPhone again has the more accurate coloring and imagery, while the S24 Ultra has the over-sharpened and contrasted look. For daytime video in this gloomy dark weather, both are a tie as they handle these scenes in their own unique ways. However, as for the 4K night video, my initial impression here was that the S24 Ultra is clearly better due to the improved HDR, brightness, and details, but the stabilization is just too bad that the footage becomes unusable. Despite the lower quality, the iPhone clearly wins here. As for telephoto photography, the iPhone again has the more accurate coloring, better HDR, and details 
for the portraits of my daughter and these birds. But for the landscape shots, I still prefer the S24 Ultra here as I do like the saturation and vivid coloring. Last but not least, let's talk about the ultra wide angle lens. Starting with video for the daytime, both are pretty tied while the iPhone has ever so slightly better HDR, detail, and accurate coloring. But in my opinion, probably not noticeable for the average consumer. Therefore, I'd say daytime ultra wide 4K video is a tie. Now as for the nighttime ultra wide video, this is completely different. The S24 Ultra here performed quite poorly in my opinion, as detail and dynamic range is severely lacking. The iPhone is definitely the winner here. Moving on to the ultra wide photography, unlike the S23 Ultra, the S24 Ultra has regained the crown of ultra wide photography. While some were very close, the S24 Ultra had overall the better HDR and details in each encounter. Despite the iPhone keeping true realistic coloring, I'd say with confidence the S24 Ultra wins here as it pertains to ultra wide photography. In conclusion, when considering the full camera system, I still think the iPhone here is overall the better choice for the average consumer. However, for those wanting to specifically focus on landscape or ultra-wide photography, then the S24 Ultra may be the better option. On another note, if you're going to use the Pro features for either the S24 Ultra or the iPhone, then you really can't go wrong with either of these devices. Now, I know many have requested I test the Pixel 8 Pro, Henceforth, stay tuned. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you all next time.